Alright. Alright, hello people. Today, I'm doing a little tutorial. You know my upcoming time let's play, which I'll be uploading soon. And this is an emulator like, called Pro 64. You might want that, so I'm going to show you how to. Alright. First thing you want to do is go to emulatorzone.com and there will be a list of emulators on the left hand side. Click on the Nintendo 64 one. And blah 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 blah, blah. where is it? Where is it? Here it is, Project 64 emulator. Now I'm going to install it again because I, it's just fun. So you, you get the 1.6 or Project K, Project 64 K 0 0.33, which is a non non official version of the network play, so that you can play online with it. But I'm just going to go for this one. So the next thing you want to do is uh, wait for it to be installed, or wait for it to be downloaded, and you click yes, and just let it prepare for installing. Blah -de blah -de blah blah. Preparing to install. Alright, do you want to click next? Click next. Click next. Then install. Should take that long. It takes about, I don't know, a few minutes. A few seconds actually. And that's done. So then you should have Project 64 on your desktop. Right here. Well, you should have it on the desktop. I already have it. And you're probably wondering, where are the games? I want games! Alright, next one do is go into Google and type in any game on oh what can I show you? I already got some of them. Now we're gonna look for a hat game. So say you want Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64. No! Damn you internet! Super Mario 64 from There we go, and we get here. A bunch of things. I prefer use Cool Rock or oh, MU Paradise. So click on. I'm going to use Cool Rock, and it just like gives you a nice look. It just the website, so you, you can basically just get all your ROMs from here. I'm not joking. It's so cool. So you click on download file, and it should start downloading. But I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So after you've done that, you want to click on open and make a nice little file called my N64. And to open them, you want to go into your you want to go to file open and you, I've got time there. I've got hacks and they're called Japanese version. Let's show what Korean time last the first. So basically, you just go into file open mom and there you go. Now you can you, you can see, you might want to set your controller so I have set mine to whatever Let's go like that and this should be running. All done. So that's how you that's how you get Nintendo 64 ROMs on your computer. Now there, are, now there are other emulators to get. You can get a Nintendo Game Boy Advance. You can get, say, a certain Dreamcast. Everything. If you're going for a GameCube or a Wii, Wii and GameCube are the same thing. It's basically open. I got a netbook, and I tried downloading it, and it was laggy as hell. Jesus. And the game size, Jesus. I recommend having a lap that desktop computer that at least has I don't know six I don't know about four gigabytes of RAM, a lot of memory, and that's pretty much it. But like on the SNES, DS, Virtual Boy, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, all of those. If you're looking for a Sony emulator. Good luck in the BIOS. There's only an Xbox One, the Xbox 360 not out yet. All of these are available. Every last single one of them, like that. And that's pretty much it. So I will, guys. This is my tutorial of um, Project 64. Please stay tuned for my walkthrough of 
The legend is up now, yeah. Let's have a look. Please stay tuned for my walkthrough of. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's do. Stay tuned for my walkthrough of. Super... Yeah, no. Stay tuned for my walkthrough of. God, I can't even decide, man. Uh. Oh, let's have a look. Let's stay tuned for my walkthrough of. Uh, blah, blah. Super Mario 64, no, the beta of Super Mario 64, yeah, yeah, so stay tuned for that, and all these other games, hopefully I'll be able to walk through them, Japanese versions, I might be able to, because I, I can't really translate it, but I can remember every last inch of Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask, so that might happen for you Japanese people, and yeah, pretty much it, thank you, this has been Nefer Jarrett, I've been Cameron, and Thank you for watching. Goodbye.